Hi, my name is Safi, and you're listening to Professional Ramble Podcast. This is episode three, where I'm going to talk about religion and like the problems with religion in more specific. I'm going to give a disclaimer for this episode because this is not to bash any religion or anyone or demoralize anyone for what they believe in. This is just to speak on the problems of specific religion and like you, for everything, you have to be able to talk about the negatives and the positives and religion mostly. Like, people who are religious only focus on the positive, but never really on the negative. So, I want to have that conversation on focusing on the negative. So, this is not to, like, really shame anyone. I'm just, like, talking about some things I've noticed. All opinions are valid, except hateful ones. So, I'm happy to listen and just, like, have a different opinion as long as it's not a, as long as it's not a hateful one. So, my first point is kind of, like, Race, the race you are has a factor on the a factor on religion and the disrespect of mo, um, the disrespect of religion is mostly on it's mostly on POC people like in the Muslim religion I've never seen uh, I've never seen a mosque that has the Arab Muslims and black Muslims pray, pray in the same mosque. Like, so Arab Muslims kind of look down on black people. And I think every, everybody around the world looks down on black people. So Arabs, like, when a black person comes to their mugs, they look down or, like, say some type of, I don't know the word they use, but, like, they just use some type of, like, offensive slur. Uh, yeah. Because I saw on TikTok, um, a TikTok was explaining, like, how, like, <laughs> they, they are fair. It's it just, it's unfair on how, like, Black Muslims, so black Muslims are being forced to quit their own spray, their own space and forced to quit, quit their own mosque to pray at. Because like when I used to go to mosque, um, the mosque I went to was like all black people, like all Nigerians, and like each race of um, each each ethnicity, each culture of Muslims have to quit their own mosque because like. Come into another space of must. It's not like how churches, how like anyone can just walk, come into church and you're all welcomed. But like with must, like you, you, everyone goes to their own culture and, and each culture creates their own space. And I don't know. It's so it's just like, don't, I'm just like. Okay, so I'm editing this podcast and I realized that some of my words that I said could be misconstructed. But like with the musk, if you go to like an Arab musk, like you could, you can feel the prejudice or you can feel like you're not wanted there. But like when I moved to uh, like the churches I mostly went were all Nigerians because that's where Nigerians felt most comfortable at. And I'm Nigerian, so that was like a second home. So when I, when I moved to my new neighborhood, I mean, haven't really got justice to the musk around. We went to this like Catholic type church. And like, it just it felt this. It felt like we weren't any different. Obviously, we're different because the church was mostly of Hispanic descent. But like, it still you could still feel like those still like everyone was still praying to to the Lord as long as, long as you do the water thingy. Um, you 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 tip you tip is that what it's called? Well, like you put your tide. You put your tide in the um basket. No one gives a fuck. But like when I went to a mosque, you feel like a little bit of like if you go to like a church to a mosque that you're not used to, if you don't that you don't know what people are. if uh, to a mosque that you don't know people, it may just feel a bit a bit weird and you may feel a little out of place. That's where I'm trying to get at. Okay, so let's get back to regular content. What's going on here? I don't know what's going on here, but like I don't like it. I don't like it. So it's just like very like interesting and in how that is and how like religion when mostly black or people of color well um, are mostly disrespected in and how like Muslim and Muslim people have been disrespected since 9-11 even if 9-11 was just like one one pe- one and just like one group of people but but the entire Muslim religion has been looked down on like and like a woman with her job she gets disrespected so much like People just rip off her scarf, or like, um, how they're so quick to like anyone that's like brown is like so quick to be called a terrorist. But it's just like it's great. How it's uh, not great, but it just amazes me how like white people, because majority of white people are the ones who are so quick to like call Muslim terrorists, but they're not quick to call um white boys who are shooting up schools terrorists. I'm like, keep the same energy, sis. 
keep the same freaking energy. That's my thoughts. Like, honestly, just keep the same energy. It's just interesting how that works. The most dis- I'm, I'm going to now rank the, like, disrespected religions. Muslims. Bo- this is the top four. That I'm really, like, the main four religion is Muslim. The most disrespected. Buddhist. Because I'm not sure I know a lot. I'm not sure I know a lot about the Buddhist religion. Buddhist. Buddhist religion. Jewish. And then Christian. Because Christians are like. You know, everyone is Christian. Because everyone assumes you're a Christian. But like you're like. I'm not Christian. Wow. Okay. So I want to add out how also the racial kind of determines your religion. Because like for the longest. I'm going to say I was also ignorant. Because I thought if anyone that's a rab is Muslim. And, I, and it's completely not because everyone can, everyone has a different devout to who they're devout to. So like how like if you're a Christian, you people, people automatically assume Christianity with white people, and how Muslim is to Arab people. But even Arab people can uh, can be of all religions. But like most people only like dedicate like Arab being Arab Arab. Oh, wow. <laughs> to um being Muslim, but like that's not true. Or like being Jewish is also white. And now I'm mean, then it comes to like the continent of Africa, and everyone is just like, I don't even know what you guys are because you guys are so quite. So it's just like, but because like with uh, Africa, a lot is also being assumed to Christianity, but like Africa has like Africa is like little like split fifty, even maybe even seventy five percent Muslim, but like. It depends on the culture or tribe you are in, and like so. so I would just like to say, let's not assume. So let's get back into the regular content. Like later on, tell people because people just assume that you're Christian, but like there are so many other religions that you could be, but like no one is really, no one really cares if you're not Christian and you're disrespected if you're not Christian. I'm. I said Jewish has like the third. I think like. Third, it's still they're still disrespected, but they're not as disrespected as Muslims in America, because like they have Jewish people, um, the money in the Jewish community stays in the Jewish communities, and like the Jewish community is one of the richest communities in America, because like the Jewish money stays in the Jewish communities, and they are they all, and I know a lot of people don't like to hear this, but. Jewish people tend to be a little bit prejudiced. I'm not going to say racist because um, only white people can be racist. Even the Jewish people are. I don't know, but I'm just saying, like, Jewish people tend to be a little bit prejudiced towards anyone else. And, like, if, if someone else is trying to buy, like, a house in the Jewish community, like, the it's so much harder to buy something in the Jewish community if you're not Jewish. And even if you're a black Jewish person... You still have a harder time to even blend in because only like people with the lighter skin or like white people, quotation marks by the way, um, are allowed to be Jewish. It's crazy. I'm just like a lot of the unfairness. And I, the other day, Jewish privilege was trending on um, Twitter. People are like talking about how they like they're not really privileged, but like compared to every other religion apart from Christianity, you all kind of privileged because like you're not randomly you're not randomly searched at TSA or like you're not stopped because of your religion like you can blend in with Christianity even though Jewish people has like the little hat but like you know what I mean it's just like it's hard it's easier to blend in with society as a Jewish person than it is as a Muslim person who's wearing like a scarf or just like one in um, Muslim attire. So that's what I just find very interesting. So anyway. Christianity has like a lot of white worshippers. So that's why it has less hate on the religion. And like white people kind of rule the society that we live in. So so that's why if, if anyone that's like really. Anyone that's really. That's that's why like every everyone is assumed to be Christian, so like no one really sees anything wrong with that. Everyone's just like, okay, great, good, okay. But like, and the I, I guess the one thing that prompted me to make this was I saw this post on Instagram of a 
of a picture of this woman with the headscarf at TSA who was um who was just going to the um who was about to catch a flight and she got stopped and like they thought she had like a bomb or something so they stripped her from head to toe like they took they made they ran yanked her for um her scarf in public, the, the, the mirror that they were changing her was literally a glass mirror so everyone can see her. They, um, they checked her bra under her boobs. Um, they checked her underwear. She was on her period. So that must have been really humiliating for her to just, for all these random people to basically just see her. And she co cooperated with them because she didn't want anything to happen to her. But so, and, cause if you don't cooperate, then they're so quick to like send to, um, to jail for like the night or like, some, some people are not even lucky to have jail for the night. Some people are there for like six months or a year. So it's just like crazy. So she she cooperated. And it was just, it must have been so humiliating. 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 She must have just been like kind of like embarrassed because of like, you kind of just like, TSA made her strip in front of the, basically the whole airport or the whole TSA side of the airport so it's just like a Christian person would does not have, TSA all of a sudden they're not racist that they just like it's random searches but like how come it's random searches whenever someone has like um a turban on or like a hijab on or a kneecap on so it's just like you can't continue to say you're not racist if more majority of the people you are who you pick are um Muslim religion, and I know I've been to the airport a couple times where they um they randomly select um a white person. But I'm pretty sure they just do that for like just I'm not racist because I'm like they just like random. I'm just like um okay um uh, okay because I know you can like put, um purchase a pass of like pre checked and you won't have to um go through all of that taking off all your your shoes and stuff. But like, what's the point of that? That's just a way for people who have privilege and money to just to, to take that and like it's so undermining to other people who don't have that privilege and money of getting of get paid for the um the pre checked pass. So that's why I just find it very interesting and fascinating. Jewish privilege okay so I'm gonna talk about Jewish privilege is a very interesting concept because it's still another version of white privilege. Because you still get away with a lot of stuff that any any one of anyone else who, in any other religion apart from Christianity they wouldn't get wouldn't be wouldn't get part of wouldn't get part of something like another religion can't do because like the Jewish um, religion has like a whole side at least in Chicago I don't know if for any other places there's like a whole side of for like Jewish people. Um, just where they could create, like, their own businesses, their own houses, and, like, nothing happened. But, like, when black people in America created Black Wall Street, it got bombed, it got, like, there was fire, it just, like, um, by white supremacists. So, the, 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 um, the privilege that, like, having a whiter skin tone won't allow you to do, or would, would allow you to do them than not having them, than having a, a darker skin tone. That's what I meant. <laughs> so, because Jewish people went through horrible shit in the Holocaust, but then they went through a lot of horrible, a lot of Jewish people were, um, were died in the Holocaust, and that's terrible. Like, I repeat to everyone who died in the uh, in the um Holocaust. But I, I the other day I learned that in the Holocaust, Germany felt Germany was so was like, no, I'm sorry, this happens. You, know, you got, they got like um. Okay, so it like took me like ten minutes to find out the word I was looking for, but Jewish people got reparation for, uh, for uh, the Holocaust of what happened in Germany, but like black people are still yet to receive like basic freedom and basic like the same privilege that white people do. And I am aware that it is two separate continents, two separate countries. Um, but I'm just like I'm just saying like and like even and like America open open like openly like took. Jewish people after after everything happened and like was like you can come over like just come you can start a whole new life with your family you can create a family. Michael was like, come on, but like we're still not treating. 
But then later on, it was like still mean to the Jewish people. But like America just America's wired. But like Black Americans are still not treated the same way. Black America's scared to to literally just go outside. I don't, I don't know. I'm talking a lot about race and religion in the same sentence because race and religion have a huge factor in both and how both are treated because like your race will always matter about how you because like a white Muslim is they're aware but like they're still more widely accepted and the lighter skin you are are you are more like you are more accepted into the society we live in. So race and religion co- um, co- co- coexist with each other. I, I just want to like say that, say my piece or whatever. <laughs> but like you get what I mean? It's just like they're, um, bo- they're both like kind of coexist and make to like make, make some fuck shit. Anyway. <sighs> Jewish people have a community that Jewish money st- Jewish money stays in the Jewish community. Unlike um black pe- black people quit a black Wall Street and got burned down. So it's just it's, I said it in the earlier, but I was just like it's a I have to keep reinforcing reinforcing that that factor on how like it's just unfair. Like everyone, I think everyone, I, I'm not a freaking communist, but like I think everyone should just like be equal. But like, be yourself, and however, th- however that makes you yourself, be unapologetically yourself without being a hateful son of a bitch. That's my takeaway from this podcast. Muslim people. Um. Also, another point I want to point out is Muslim people are one of the most disrespected religion ever, and like, Arab Muslims are to me to black Muslims. I said that earlier, but then I just want to reinforce the factor of how, like, Arab Muslims look down on, on black Muslims and, like, white people look down on Arab Muslims. And, like, it's like a weird love triangle, but this one's a hate triangle. White people look down Arab, Arab Muslims. Arab Muslims look down um, black Muslims. And, like, black Muslim, black people for everything. I've always stayed on the bottom. And, like, I guess in a way, I, this is an, another topic for another video, but, like, then black black Americans look down on Africans, and it's just it's just like a huge like stairwell. It's like a stairwell going down way of just like ever hate. It's it's like a hatred stairwell, like just like a hate. I don't get people. I don't. I really don't. I tre- genuinely don't get why why people exist. Why do people exist? Does someone want to tell me why people exist? And like how um Africa has like a majority Muslim, uh, but everyone thinks it's a Christian. But like Africa, at least where I'm from, Nigeria, a lot of people are Muslims. But like somehow like the Christian, the Christian Nigerians tend to like overlook the Muslim Nigerians because Christianity is, is looks better to white people. And like I guess. Whatever makes the white people like us, even though white people will never see us as equal or never see us as someone. That I guess, I guess that was sexy. Woo! In fact, I don't know. But like, it's just like it's just fascinating how like Christianity has always topped off the, the <laughs> has always topped off the market. It's just like everything is about Christianity and like honestly, I understand my opinion. Over here, this ent- I've been stating my opinion this entire time, but like how like what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, how how like religion is the same freaking thing. Like I've been to mosque, I've been to um church. It's the same thing. They are worshiping the same thing. Like I really don't know what they were. I know they're worshiping a god, and they're all worshiping a god. Maybe except Buddhists, since there's multiple gods. But like, for the most part, Jewish, Christianity, and Muslim are all worshiping the same god, but all call it a different name. So I'm just like, honestly, I don't get it. I don't get it because I I, I believe in a god, 
I believed in the higher power. I believed there was a God, but I don't believe in religion because of the stigma. The stigma religion holds and how like a book, the holy book, the Quran. I don't know. What the, I don't know what Jewish people call the book. I know this might be offensive, but I'm sorry. But like, of how. Of how Jewish people, on how like the book all says the same thing, but all translated in different languages. And also Christianity is more looked up on because it's English and like English is supposed to be a universal language. Quotation marks, even if every culture, every country has a different language. But yeah, English is supposed to be the universal language, so which means it's supposed to be Right, it's supposed to be the correct way because the Europeans, that's the Europeans language, it's the correct way. Because anything the Europeans do has to be correct because that always has to be the best thing. Cock off, slavery. Mm, I just said thing. You heard something? I don't know. Did you hear something? I just said slavery. And how like, if you really read and really understand the book, they're all saying the thing, same thing. And it seems like all the religions tend to... Notice how like they all hate the same things. Like they hate homosexuality. They hate abortion. They, but I'm just like, but yeah, you guys can't agree on something. The only thing they can hate on is agreeing, is agreeing on hating homosexuality, abortion, and just all this other thing. Because the government book said so. God said so. So, it must be right, even if the book has been written so many times that you can't, you literally can't count. You can't count, I think it's only, but I think it's like, it's been written like 10 or so times, so it's probably like countable, but like, it's been written so much times, been interpreted in so you know, many different ways, and every time I see a tech talk about Christianity, I'm just like, you can interpret, interpret, in the book, it's kind of like a poetry book. I don't know if that's offensive. But like it's kind of like a poetry book. How like poetry is kind of can be interpreted in however way you want, however way you can, and and yeah, every every single person is like and look something in I don't know the Bible's names, but like how like um they interpret it in each different ways. I'm just like this is very interesting. Okay, I would like to add that the fact that I'm gonna hell, I just. I just um compare the Bible or the book, all religious books to poetry. I'm gonna hell. I'll see you guys in hell too. If love that for us. But yeah, yeah but each person has a different interpretation on it. On it, and supposed to all, and supposedly supposed to all mean the same thing because like people, like people, like Christians or like Muslims who are poor LGBTQ as like Allah or God never said. We, um, they hate Muslims, but like, yeah, like people who hate homosexuality are like, well, God, Allah, or God said we hate it, so we hate it. So I'm just like, you guys are like cherry picking the book, and that's one thing I really also hate is cherry picking. Like the Bible and the Quran is so cherry picked to uh, so many levels, and like how like people who just pick out the the phrase they want and the phrase they like they feel like it's important i'm just like bro what i'm like read the whole book and like actually read what it means and be like a i feel like be like a be like a whole english teacher and like really interpret it, the book the way it's supposed to be interpreted and i'll be a, and i'll read the book i'll read the quran i'll read the um I'll read the Bible if it's actually going to be interpreted the way it's supposed to be interpreted, not just cherry picking the part that fits your narrative. So that I hate that. I hate the fact of how like the um the book is always cherry picked constantly in the society we live in. Okay, so another point I'm gonna make is Muslim women with a hijab on the uh, niqab. I learned. I actually just learned that niqab is the it's like the hijab that covers your entire face, but your eyes. I am learning so much from TikTok. I think you, you can learn so much. So like about the Muslim woman who wore the hijab. The hijab is just like that covers the hair, and the niqab covers your entire face, but your eyes. Are held to a higher standards. Are held to a higher standard in the Muslim religion. 
Um, so it helps them to stand where they can't do anything outside their religion. That's uh, or will be considered haram. I'm like, I've seen this happen a lot on TikTok of like a Muslim girl who just went to her job. I'm um, just like talking about whatever or just doing whatever. Um, the haram police, which are most, which I, mean, I think the haram police is like ten year old boys or like forty year old men who are just like. The one thing they both have in common is they they love to mind their business in women's business. Like, stay out of women's business. But, like, they just love to be in women's business. I'm like, leave a woman alone. Let her do whatever she wants. Let her do whatever she wants. Yeah. That's her arm. And for people who don't know who her arm is, her arm is kind of like... How do I explain it? It's kind of like... You're not doing the right thing for the religion. But I'm going to suggest... I'm going to say the... um. Urban Dictionary. Um, I'm going to say the Urban Dictionary's definition because that might be better. <laughs> Haram, which um, that which Allah and the prophets have, um, which Allah and the prophets have completely and specifically for forbidden engaging in the act of Haram. Stuff like examples of stuff that's Haram is eating food like pork, drinking alcohol, having sex before marriage, eating gelatin. Just like a lot of stuff that Allah and all the prophets have said is bad. So like, and it's just, it's funny because like, Muslim men would like doing half sex before marriage, but I for, um, um, for us, us, I smoke because every teenager smokes. Except for me, because I'm a God, I'm a God Christian. Just I, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not Christian, but like, I'm just a holy child. I'm a holy child, but so it's just like it's interesting because like Muslim boys will, do, will smoke and drink, but like sister, um, the sisters are not allowed to do anything without being called haram. And like, because like Muslim boys are held, to, um, are held to like a lower standard. Like they're like mama's boys. Like they could do no harm, even though they do the most harm. But like. Ooh, like Muslim girls are expected to like wash the dishes, clean the house. And like Muslim boys should just go out with their friends. But like Muslim girls are like are supposed to stay in the house till marriage and not allowed to do anything. Their husband after they leave their father's house, they go on to their um husband's house. And like a man should always control your man should always be in your life. So that, and that's where it gets tricky with homosexual Muslim women. This is like um um so. I, like people just like to say that homosexual women don't exist because like oh, I said homosexual women homosexual Muslim women don't exist because your know, religion disallows it but like Allah God created you just the way you are so um, they, um he created some homosexual Muslim women but like and what I love about TikTok that TikTok has shown me that because I'm because I've never seen one and then on TikTok I was like there's a lot of bisexual Muslim women I'm proud and like used to go in their comments and all these who um 40 year old men or 10 year old boys or little like that's you um you're not Muslim because you're gay you're not Muslim because you're bisexual I'm like boy why who are you who are you to police someone's um sexuality last time I checked you weren't so Bye. Are you a lot? Are you a prophet? So no. Boy, bye. And it gets very fascinating with it, but like that's not talk, talking about that. But it's just like the haram police is so quick to like to be like you're doing something wrong. Stop it. You haram. You haram. But I'm just like let this girl breathe. Let her live her life. You only live once, so like so just live your life, baby girl. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so it's just like, it's just, it's just fascinating to me on how like the Haram police is always coming for, it's always coming for young girls or just like teenage girls, but like the boys who are just, who are eating, who are, who are doing some Haram things, it's just very fascinating, fascinating, it's very fascinating young man, so how are you doing young man, okay, what, what, what was I just doing? Muslim boys do that if a Muslim girl, is, she's a terrible person. There's a double standard between the haram and just like, just like, hold on. And that's why I think plus I'm not awesome. I'm not, a, I don't believe in, in Muslim, being a Muslim. For me personally, do whatever you want. Whatever guides you to do. Light is your choice. I'm not 
not atheist, but I'm not religious. I just believe that's a higher power because someone's got, someone's someone's controlling this universe we live in. And so yeah, I believe in the higher power of the mm -hmm. Religious people use the book to justify hateful behavior. That's the big one. That's the big one. Like, the book is just to justify any opinions that you don't like. So you're just like, so you used the book. The book. The holy book. To justify any hateful behavior that you have. And it might be, use the book for your own, find your own inner peace. But like, it gets to a problem when you start like saying, homosexuality is bad because the book said so. I'm like, if you think homosexuality is bad, you think so, not the book. Stop using the book to justify you. Have your own opinion. Bye. <laughs> just have your own opinion and not just use the book to justify the opinions that you have that's hateful. Because the book is not hateful. You are. T. So, I'm going to make another point. I'm going to get to more of like the LGBTQ and being religious. That whole aspect of how you can't be LGBTQ because the book said you can. And like you see a hateful speech to say to say you can. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Being gay isn't a choice. So, tr so trying to justify someone's sexuality on religion doesn't add up. Exactly. Like being gay, if the, whole, if the, if the higher power brought you out of your mama's coochie, put a soul in you. That's how I explain myself on how people are born. Anyway, but I put a soul in you, made you live this long to know who you are, and you're going to say, I, 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 like, if a girl likes a girl, or if a boy likes a girl, oh, I'm going to play this song for a second. Okay, so I had to play a little girl in red and just like girl, girl kissing a girl is fine, boy kissing a boy is fine, and you're trying to say it's not because your religion said so, because your book said so. But like, if your book said so, why would they put LGBTQ churches? Because they are reading the same book, so why? So you're just a hateful being, and then, so why? Why are you trying to justify your you being hateful on a religion? Doesn't make sense to me. Mind blowing. I don't get it. You're confusing. Bye. Stop. Just stop it. Stop it. Just stop being. So you're just a hateful person, and you're not. Yeah, you're, you're not a good religious person. You're just a shit person. You're just a shit person. I can't sing. But you get my point. You're just a shit person. Religion or higher power created um create us all equal and 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 creates us with a vision and why and so why are you questioning his creation? He created us just to <laughs> he created LGBT lesbians, gay, trans pe trans people and non binary people. I'm gonna use he because that's the way I've always known him, but like uh, the higher power is whatever you want it to be. Because it just confuses me and my brain it gets confused, but like, so he created us all equally. So as long as your, as long as his question is not a serial killer, or a rapist, or a criminal, and being a criminal doesn't being being isn't being lesbians, being a lesbian, being gay, being trans. So why does it matter to you? Because being because being gay isn't isn't. A, a crime and you're just being unapologetically yourself so that doesn't make sense to me that's just mind blowing mind blowing so make it make sense make it make sense make it make sense so just keep your lights up if you're going to say this is bad make sure the entire people in your religion are saying it's bad because how come half, half of y'all are saying it's good it's fine, but half of y'all are saying it's bad. Keep a lie up, Shay. Because you're just being yourself, baby girl. And continue to be yourself. Continue to love yourself. Continue to appreciate yourself because you're amazing. You're beautiful. And I love you. I guess you're amazing. 
I know, in, and also in many countries, being homosexual or being a trans person criminalizes you and makes you a bad person because you're just being yourself. A lot of countries in Africa criminalizes you on on just being you unapologetically, and I don't get it. I don't get it because you you are yourself. I love you, and. I just don't get it because people use their religion to try to justify being hateful and just saying God said you're not yeah God said you're not equal to me as as me as a heterosexual person but mm, so don't use the book to justify your hateful behaviors and that's basically the main point of this episode is. Don't use the book, the holy book, to justify your hateful behaviors, your hateful thoughts, your hateful beliefs. And I w- I'm going to use this podcast to educate you on everything and just, like, talk and have a two-sided conversation about this. And just, like, just talk to you. Because I just, I'm just real. I'm just real. I don't, I just don't know because it's... This is a one-sided conversation. This is a one-sided conversation right now, but I'm, I want to hear other pieces, other sides of the story. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for this podcast. And if you liked it, give it a rating, subscribe, and come in for another topic. Email me. Go on my Instagram. DM me. Professional, a professional rambler podcast. No, it's professional rambler. And yeah. DM me any topics you want me to talk about, anything I seem to have been off about in this podcast. Baby, I am America. I'm a stranger just like you.